Here, let us perform an activity to demonstrate the types of wave propagation. Click each tab to know more. Take a slinky. Note, a long flexible spring is called slinky. Place it lengthwise on the smooth surface of the table. Ask your friend to hold one end of the slinky. Now, push and pull the free end of the slinky periodically. Observe the slinky. We have observed that in spring, at some places, the turns are closer together and the turns are farther apart than in the normal position. The closer together part is called a compression and the farther apart part is called a rarefaction. Take a slinky, place it lengthwise on the smooth surface of the table. Tie one end of the slinky with a fixed hook. Hold the free end of the slinky and stretch it. Move your hand periodically and uniformly at right angles to the length of the slinky. Observe the propagation of wave through the slinky. We have observed that on jerking the free end of a slinky at a right angle to its length, there is the formation of crests and troughs along the slinky from the free end towards its fixed end. Here, the peak of the wave is called crest and the valley of the wave is called trough. In the final observation, the vibrations are perpendicular to the direction of wave motion and in the initial observation, the vibrations are along the direction of wave motion. When the particles of the medium vibrate along the direction of wave, then the wave is called longitudinal wave. Some people call longitudinal waves as push-pull waves because the particles are pushing forward and then pulling backward to where they were before they move forward. When the particles of a medium move at right angles to the direction of propagation of a wave, then the wave is called a transverse wave. In other words, in longitudinal waves, the particles of the medium oscillate parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave, whereas in transverse wave particles of the medium oscillate perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. Finally, we can conclude that the longitudinal wave involves change in the density of the medium whereas the transverse wave involves change in the shape of the medium.